Hi, um, this video is going to show a simple way of doing parallel programming with the Epiphany coprocessor. Um, what you see here on the left side of the screen is a very simple program, uh, the specific one written in ANSI C for um, the Epiphany processor. It's a single threaded program. Uh, in the uh, core of the program you see a convolution kernel and uh, it's, a, it's a nice program in that it can be parallelized very easily. Um, and then the question becomes, how do you uh, scale out the program? How do you launch it so that it can run on 16 cores, maybe 64 cores? And uh, that's what we want to talk about today. Um, and uh, the challenge now becomes, once you have multiple programs running on the ARM, how do they share the resources uh, in a nice fashion? And uh, so we did a, um, a little demo project together with our interns this summer. Uh, and we created actually a resource manager for the Epiphany. Uh, what you can see here, uh, running in the background, is the actual resource monitor that's continuously monitoring the Epiphany cores and the Epiphany network. And then here, uh, a little applet that displays the activity on the cores themselves, the CPU load, and the mesh programs, uh, mesh uh, traffic. And um, so, you know, let's see now what happens when you start uh, uh, launching some of those convolution threads that we talked about. Um, and uh, you see here that uh, uh, the program gets allocated uh, in a random fashion uh, parts of the uh, Epiphany coprocessor. Uh, we can launch another uh, one of these convolution threads uh, from a different program. Uh, and so now you actually have two threads running on the arm um, and all being uh, going through the resource mon uh, manager and running on the Epiphany. Uh, now let's you know, open up a third thread and uh, see what happens. So um, what you can see here is that all of them play nicely together. Um, each one of these threads get a different number of uh, cores per run. Uh, once in a while in these windows you're going to see it popping up. Uh, somebody didn't get the core that he wanted to get because he, tr he was too greedy, tried to get too many cores and didn't have those resources based on the resource manager. Um, but, uh, you know, you can see that three completely different threads running on the ARM share 16 Epiphany cores on the Epiphany coprocessor. Uh, now let's take a look at uh, what the host programs look like uh, running on the ARM. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's not that scary. You know, first of all, you see the regular Epiphany code with the uh, Epiphany um, hardware abstraction library. Um, and really the key thing that uh, we've created here is uh, create a new function called ereserve. And basically ereserve goes to the uh, resource manager and requests a number of cores. And uh, if he gets those cores, then he knows that that's his domain. And from there on, it's really the same uh, open connection, load program, and read and write uh, as you would do for a regular program. Um, now, the, this can be a, a fairly powerful thing, first of all, the idea of balancing load across the Epiphany cores based on traffic and based on CPU load, and uh, and also abstracting the cores themselves away from the program, um, and uh, it makes it quite easy to scale out your applications. And if you really have an embarrassingly parallel program, uh, you can literally be up and running in five minutes. Um, so we hope this gives you a glimpse of what you can do with the Epiphany cores and the Epiphany coprocessor. All this source code is up on GitHub, uh, so for those of you who already have parallel boards in hand, uh, give it a shot and let us know what you think.